Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Right away, as I was preparing for this reading, the Three of Swords card came out here in the upright position. Now, typically, I don't even pull from the traditional tarot deck, but this card really wanted to come out here. And I find it really interesting because this is a really heavy card when it comes to love and relationships. It speaks to grief heartbreak, sorrow. For some reason, I wanted to say carrying something really heavy on the hearts. And at the same time, two other cards came out from the Romance Angels deck. And these cards are children and it's safe for you to love. With this children card, I actually see this applying to the inner child, speaking to a kind of lightness and playfulness and also a security in love with that it's safe for you to love card. So really what I'm getting here with this three of swords and then these two other very different cards is some kind of contrast what we collectively are moving from, moving away from, and moving toward, moving away from this Three of Swords card, this situation that I feel became really heavy and may have caused us a lot of heartbreak. For some reason, I keep wanting to say cycles of pain, cycles of heartbreak, and if we had chosen to remain in this cycle, whether it was remaining in a certain pattern or potentially even remaining with a certain person in the 3D romantically in a certain way, those cycles of heartbreak and really I wanted to say suffering would continue. But I see this kind of choice point moments where now there is this decision to rise. There is this decision to move towards, I'm hearing to shift the pattern and rise into a love that feels safe, that feels secure, that provides you the container where you feel safe to, as this card says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But also, there's something very light and easy and playful about this love. So for some of you listening, this could represent two different connections in your life romantically. One that you are in the process of moving away from in the 3D, and the other, this lighter, more playful, more secure feeling connection being either what you are actively consciously moving toward at this time or something that's more so on the unconscious spiritual level you are attracting in. Now, as I always say, take these messages as they connect with you personally because I do channel many different people, situations, energies. So only take what resonates, but I feel for some of you as I mentioned in a previous reading, these two energies could be speaking to a cycle, a pattern. So the one you are moving away from could be a pattern that you are now shifting and the one you are moving toward could actually be the same person, but in a renewed connection where that old negative pattern is no longer between the two of you. But I do feel that for many of you, perhaps even a majority, this will actually resonate as two separate types of connections, people, or relationships. But as I always say, I do channel a lot of information for different individuals. So if you would like me to channel specifically for you, do be sure to like this video and also double check that you are subscribed because by liking and subscribing, this allows me to pick up more easily on your energy because these are forms of energetic transference. So when you are subscribed to this channel, I'm typically able to bring forth more consistently accurate messages for you. So I decided to pull a little bit more from the traditional tarot deck. And the next card to come out here is the five of wands reversed. 
As you guys know, I am pretty new still to using the traditional tarot, so I am going to look up some messages. Yeah, your love life is lacking the passion or spark at the moment. For some reason, I'm feeling a kind of numbness. I feel someone's energy who is just tired in love. Again, regardless of whether you are single or in a relationship with someone, there is this feeling of having difficulty feeling that spark attraction or passion. For some people, this may feel as though for anyone or for others, I'm sensing that there might be one specific person that you actually have felt an immense amount of intense love, attraction, pull towards. And it's almost as though this connection, because it's been so intense, so all-encompassing, it's caused this kind of feeling of numbness to the potential of other connections. Now, the Knight of Wands reversed is the second card to come out here. You or another person in your life may be running from the idea of commitment right now. Yeah, so I feel like this could be you having actively left or shifted out of some kind of negative cycle or pattern, as we mentioned earlier with that three of swords, three of swords card, if I can speak there. Now feeling this lack of desire to commit yourself to give yourself fully away to anyone or anything new but this could also speak to this very intense connection in your life having been the one to run away and i feel this message of it's like why would you run away from something so beautiful so spiritually connected I feel that I'm picking up on a connection that carries both polarities very, very strongly. It's like the highs and the lows tangled up in one. I'm hearing when things are good, they are amazing, incredible, passionate. But when things get challenging and turned around, I see this person pulling away really, really hard and... Ultimately, this causing someone to really take a hit in their confidence here, needing time at the moment in love to rebuild their confidence with the solar plexus chakra in the upright position. I do have to tell you, although the masculine and feminine energies, of course, are just labels describing energies, so they aren't necessarily connected with a particular gender. By the way, I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied, which sometimes indicates some kind of throat chakra shift happening within this connection I'm channeling. So I see someone here wanting to come in with some kind of communication, but potentially being afraid or uncertain about this communication. So I will be channeling in the extended version of this reading on Patreon more information on who is feeling tongue-tied here and potentially what they are afraid to but desire to communicate here. So those extended messages will be in our beautiful Twin Flame Soul Tribe on Patreon and the link to that is in the pinned comments and description box under the video if you are interested in joining me over there. But happy family in the reverse position. I absolutely feel the reason that someone here took a hit in their confidence. Wow, specifically I'm picking up on a divine feminine. I'm getting a name with an F in it for someone and I just keep seeing a lot of trees for some reason. Someone might have a lot of trees around their place of living or go hiking where there are a lot of trees. But I see with happy family reverse, this speaks to some kind of blocked reunion. I'm hearing a feminine say, I wanted this, but you were afraid. And also I feel that in her darker moments, this feminine may find herself saying, was I just not worth it? Was I just not worth being fully committed to? And of course, this is just the ego mind here, tricking her, deceiving her into, into, denying her own true worth and value with the thinking man uprights. 
But also this thinking man card speaks to the fact that I feel this masculine's higher self saying here, this had nothing to do with you. And it's a heartbreaking statement because what he really means is I shared this mutual love and desire for reunion, for reconnection with you, but my ego continuously got in the way. Yeah, attachment in the upright position. And once again, I'm getting this like kind of itching sensation around my neck, which can again indicate this masculine I'm hearing like wanting to communicate, but there's something about him feeling as though he really struggles to find the right words. Broken hearts in the reverse position. Yes, yeah, someone here is saying, I don't want to have my heart broken anymore. It's this energy of putting your foot down and finally saying, I'm tired of these cycles of heartbreak. I'm tired of being brokenhearted, of being left hanging. Door to personal healing and happiness uprights. On a higher self level, it feels like the time for these two souls, and they both know this at the soul level, for a very deep level individual healing to take place, rest and rejuvenation upright. It's this energy of someone simply being tired, again, of the same cycles, patterns, having their heart broken, feeling a lack of worth or value because of this blocked or delayed reunion or reconnection between them. And I just keep hearing like finally doing something, finally making a change, finally choosing to release something that they've been holding on to for a really long time, which apparently was a divine feminine who in her own way was in her own ego, choosing to let go of that that ego mind here. And I am going to channel more into that, but it's interesting that the thinking woman uprights and the thinking man upright both came out. And I often connect these with the masculine and feminine ego mind. So I feel that this speaks to a lot of back and forth triggering of the egos here. I'm getting something about red or pink lipstick for someone also. Also the name will could be coming out and middle and traffic came out as well. For some reason, I'm seeing someone like sitting in traffic, but this could also speak to, oh, and I'm getting someone could be a middle child in a family as well. But with the word traffic, I see someone metaphorically feeling as though being in this connection is like sitting in traffic. It's like you're burning gas. You are just feeling stuck, feeling at a standstill. You have the map in front of you. You know where you want to go. But it's like you're just sitting there and it's it's painful because you know the turns you have to make, you know how to get there, but something about it just feels stuck. It just simply isn't moving. And your guides are teasing me and like it's always rush hour with this person. It's always it always feels stuck. It always feels like bumper to bumper traffic trying to move this connection forward. Why is this connection feeling so difficult to move forward sometimes? I'm actually going to pull a card from the traditional tarot because I'm kind of really liking the messages coming through from these cards. And I am going to circle back to that attachment card coming out for the masculine and how this connects to that blocked reunion. But first, I do want to know why this connection between these two souls continuously feels so stuck. Ten of Swords, or Ten of Wands, actually, in the reverse position. So I'm going to channel a few messages from this card. Shouldering too much responsibility, collapse, breakdown. Failure to share burdens with partner, difficulty finding emotional support from a partner. Wow, so, sorry, my phone just fell there. What I really feel between you and this person is just that. It's like someone here really struggling to be emotionally vulnerable. 
I'm sensing a lot of sacral chakra wounding from this person. And I also feel that this could absolutely be the masculine energy here that was really struggling to be vulnerable with the feminine i see her continuously like trying to push trying to get him to open up i'm hearing to open his heart to share his mind or emotions and i feel that for a while this masculine would make a conscious effort to be more communicative to to be more emotionally vulnerable but there's some kind of massive energetic block that i feel he would just continuously come up against and i feel this was something that he felt really anxious about facing did not want to face wanted to ignore or repress and at some point i feel the feminine feeling as though I can't force you to face your shadows. I can't force you to face your own demons the way that I am in the process of facing mine with blossoming abundance in the reverse position. I feel that when this masculine would feel the feminine here letting go or pulling away, he would try to, to open himself forcibly more emotionally and I feel the feminine would see these glimpses of deep emotional vulnerability and this potential for so much spiritual depth, awareness, consciousness. But again, they felt like just glimpses. It's like, it's as though he would start to crack open this door and the feminine would get this glimpse of what's behind the door, but then it would slam shut all over again. With the Eight of Wands in the upright position, we're getting a lot of Wands cards here. I am going to channel a little bit from this card. Progress, exciting times, gaining momentum. I feel that this speaks to what a Divine Feminine has been longing for. I feel a Feminine saying, going back to that traffic metaphor, like, I'm tired of being stuck in traffic in this connection. I just want to move. I want to go. Not to go in the sense of like, I want to leave you behind, but it's like, I want to go towards my highest good. I want to, I want to experience the highest vibrational version of love that is available to me, whether that's through this connection with you or through a high level soulmate, take it as it resonates with you personally. But I feel this desire to move forward, to move forward very quickly from this feminine is actually coming from a state of deeper healing and stability within herself. It's like at the unconscious level, she knows now that she has done so much inner work. She's faced some of her own shadows and demons and released some of that heaviness from herself energetically, which is why at some point I feel these cycles of potential heartbreak or pain with this masculine actually became more unbearable because she herself has no longer been aligned with them because she herself has actually shifted into this energetically lighter states of being and again, is more stabilized, is more healed within herself and is ready to move forward. So I am reshuffling the energy oracle cards deck here. But before I do that, I do want to quickly write down what we already mentioned that we were going to discuss in the extended about potential communication coming in. So I don't forget about that. But now I do want to circle back to that attachment card that came out and I said it connected with a divine masculine and some kind of delayed new beginning or reunion state between these two souls. Again, a cycle of pushing away the future of this connection that seemed to repeat itself on a loop. So can I get more information about what these attachments were? for this masculine envy in the upright position feeling unfulfilled i feel that i could be picking up on a masculine who in general struggles to have a grateful spirit to have a spirit of gratitude in general in his life there's this feeling of constant kind of lack reaching for something to fill some space within himself that wounded space that 
energetic block that actually came up earlier, specifically in the sacral chakra, because really what this masculine is reaching for is healing. What he's reaching for is to do his own shadow work, to clear out these specifically sacral chakra and heart chakra blockages, preventing him from fully opening his heart to both giving and receiving love. For some reason, I'm hearing manipulation. So this won't be for everyone, but there may be a masculine here who defaults to using some form of manipulation emotionally, or at the very least trying to exert some kind of control over other people or over circumstances or situations. But the reason for this is because, again, there is this unhealed energy specifically around the heart and the sacral chakra centers that causes this masculine to not be fully open when it comes to emotional vulnerability, to not feel safe to be open, and also to not feel safe to fully give and receive love through the heart center. And so because of this, he feels that in order to get what he needs out of a relationship or connection, rather than simply opening himself to that receptive energy, giving of himself and leaving himself open to receive in return, instead of doing that, I feel that he's pulled back with contract in the reverse to some form of karmic cycle pattern. For some, it could be karmic relationships that allow them to still feel in control and being in control allows them to not need to open their hearts, or at least even though they feel deeply unfulfilled and unsatisfied in these karmic situations, again, whether it's a karmic behavior pattern, a negative thought pattern, or literally a karmic relationship, they feel really unhappy in these situations, really unfulfilled, always reaching for something more. But what they might not fully consciously realize is that the reason they reach for these situations, patterns that allow them to feel an artificial sense of control. And it's like they get some sense of security from that control, but it's very artificial and shallow. So it doesn't really fulfill them at the deep soul level. But what they're really being called to is healing, is to open themselves through the sacral and the heart center to clear out this wounded energy so that they feel intrinsically naturally motivated to openly give and allow themselves to receive both intimates, emotionally vulnerable connections, as well as love in general. And I feel this is a major lesson that this masculine is learning at this time. I feel that this won't be for everyone, but for some, there even could have been a situation where these two twin flames, this divine masculine and divine feminine, were actually connected together in some kind of karmic pattern of their own. And with the crown chakra reversed and deceit reversed, it's like this pattern was very 3D. And because they share such a powerful and intense soul connection, something about this situation had to collapse in on itself. And the reason for this is because this pattern was very unnatural for these two souls. I feel that this could have been a pattern with contract reversed of the divine feminine here over giving, over extending, over self-sacrificing of herself to this masculine, allowing him to have that artificial sense of control that again, gave him some shallow sense of security, although he still felt very unfulfilled, while at the same time, it's allowed him to continue repressing his own wounding and resisting his own need to heal this very deep level wound or block. But again, what happened here is because this is a, such a spiritual connection, with deceit in the reverse, the truth finally revealed itself in this situation. So something could have came to light about this masculine, about something could have came to the surface, whether it was just the conscious realization of this pattern or something specifically that this masculine did secretly or wasn't fully open or truthful about. Something could have came to light that caused this divine feminine a lot of pain 
that actually pulled her into that with envy uprights, pulled her into that unfulfilled energy that this masculine had been sitting in, this feeling of, this feeling of, I want more. I want more from my life and from my connections. And I feel that ultimately this again could have led this feminine to disconnect, to walk away, to separate for the purpose on a spiritual level with door to personal healing and happiness uprights of focusing on her own self growth on her own, what we would think of from a 3d perspective as an individual soul mission. But the truth about twin flames is because of this soul bond, nothing is truly individual. Even if you never communicate or see one another in the physical world, there is always this constant, consistent, energetic support between the two of you. But at the same time, with caring connections uprights and envy upright, I see a divine feminine here who became really unfulfilled in this connection in the 3D and specifically found herself really longing for, I'm hearing the name John or a J name for some reason, longing for a connection that would feel really stable, really grounded in the physical that would meet her needs naturally, provide for her naturally in the physical world. And even though she felt the intensity of this soul bond, I'm feeling with this other masculine who left her feeling unfulfilled, there was also the sense that unless something were to change, these cycles, these so-called karmic cycles that they were trying to play out with one another would eventually cause this connection to collapse in on itself at some point. It's like the way that they were relating to each other had to be radically transformed. And I feel that for many, this could be happening through a period of physical disconnect or separation. But of course, always take this as it connects with you personally. So I am going to reshuffle the cards here and pull a final card for us from the Rumi Oracle now in the extended because I felt a lot of intense messages coming through. In the extended version of this reading, I will be channeling more love-related messages. So how each person, the feminine here and the masculine, could be feeling at this time consciously about this connection and anything they might want to say to the other. And of course, I will also be channeling more details and specifics to give you more insights and information about what is happening within this connection. So the link to this extended reading is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. But to close out the reading here on YouTube, I am just going to read a little bit from the card, The Lover and the Beloved. This card actually comes out pretty frequently in the readings. This oracle brings you a message. Something has to change in your physical worlds. You are in need of more sustenance, more love, more connection, and more nourishment that touches your body and soul and brings them into deeper oneness with each other, with life, with love. Dare you open up and allow that love in? Will you allow love in? If you find this difficult, now is the time to gently, carefully tend to the walls you once placed between yourself and life, walls of tentativeness, excessive caution, fear of abandonment and betrayal, doubts of your own lovableness, and doubts based on past pain without substance. You are so much greater than these crumbling walls. Can you begin to unpack the bricks you mistakenly believed were essential for your safety and well-being? You are too vast to see for that small puddle of thought now. The oceanic world of love is your true home and the sun is beating down upon you. An offer or opportunity is on its way to you or has recently been presented. It may be an idea you have been nurturing or one presented to you by another person. Sit with it. Do you feel exhilaration? Do you feel energy at the thought of saying yes? 
then say yes. Allow yourself to receive. There is divine encouragement in taking risks that feel wild and alive to your heart. Wow, that feels like it really brought us perfectly full circle because we began with the Three of Swords card and then the other two cards that I really felt represented a completely transformed love. And what I see here is the call of both counterparts to have the courage to release their fears of being unworthy of that type of love again of being unlovable, to release those limiting beliefs, and to rise to the highest form of love now available to them and calling them. So for the masculine, I see this speaking to him finally facing those so-called bricks he's been carrying around with him, creating this wounded energy specifically in the sacral and heart center. But for the feminine, I see that this could be releasing a heavy pattern within this connection or releasing a specific person or connection temporarily in the physical altogether for the purpose of rising to what she truly desires and deserves in love. So take it as it connects with you, but I do hope that something from this reading resonated with you personally, and if so, be sure to leave me a comment under this video and let me know what connected the link to the extended reading on Patreon is in the pinned comments and description box under this video. If you would like to head over to Patreon with me now and receive a few more messages about this situation. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and weekends, and I will talk to you again in Monday's Twin Flame reading.